What is an opener ability? An opener is basically only something that rogues and druids have, in the form of abilities that can only be used from stealth. So you can only really use them to start a fight, or open up with. Kitty druids had their openers removed and just had their old effects baked into their normal abilities. But rogues still have their stealth only abilities. In this video we'll talk about the three opener abilities rogues have. I should note there are other abilities rogues can only use from stealth but those abilities don't break you out of stealth, like these ones do. Unless you're talking about Vanilla Sap, which did break you out of stealth when you used it, but I already have a video that goes over that ability's history and I won't include that in this video. The three rogue openers I'll be talking about are Ambush, a single target nuke, Cheap Shot, a four second stun, and Garrote, a dot. In Ambush's first form, it required a dagger in the main hand to use, you had to be behind the target and in stealth. It was the rogue's second hardest hitting ability after a 5 combo point eviscerate, but could have a really high chance to crit if talented, and only gave one combo point by default, with a chance at a second with talents. So Ambush in its first form was a hard hitting single target nuke that could only be used from stealth. And that's pretty much how it is today with some slight modifications over the years. When Eviscerate was nerfed, Ambush became Rogue's hardest hitting ability for quite some time. Which was a pretty big accomplishment because Eviscerate was notoriously overpowered. Its baseline damage was so high you could literally duel someone one on one with no gear and a shitty weapon and you could still win because of all the control options Rogue's had with no DRs and the damage they could dish out with Eviscerate. In Wrath, Ambush started giving two combo points baseline, and got a glyph that gave it a 10 yard range, turning it into one of the few melee abilities that could be used at a range further than 5 yards. 10 yards isn't much better though, so it wasn't used very often. In Cataclysm, Ambush could be used with any weapon, not just daggers. Also learned at level 8 instead of 18. Sub rogues would learn Shadow Step instantly at level 10 which would teleport them behind the target and increase the damage of their next ambush by 30%. Ambush was so strong at low levels at this time that rogues with just heirloom gear and weapons could one-shot low armored players if they were just a few levels lower than them, and do about half the target's health as damage to about everyone else. This was eventually nerfed and Blizzard made it so abilities would just do less damage at lower levels and scale up to their normal amount of damage at max levels. I don't think Blizzard does this anymore though so it's an old mechanic only really used in Kata, and maybe miss. Also in Cataclysm, Sub Rogues, usually the terrible spec for PvE rogues for years, gets its time to shine on the spine of Deathwing, thanks to its survivability in the form of Cheat Death, and the fact that with the Forset bonus and Glyph, they could Shadow Dance for 10 seconds, allowing Ambush Spam for half the duration they could attack the Tendon. This was a big deal because Spine was the hardest raid fight in Dragon Soul. Harder than even the final boss, and top guilds were stacking rogues, mages, and shamans to down it on heroic. Rogues and mages were their burst damage and survivability in the form of their very own cheat death ability called Counter Eyes, and rogues with ambush shadow dance spam. Shamans were there to heal because their spirit link totem let them cheese the healing mechanic on that fight. I leveled an alt shaman and geared him out just to down that fight in heroic, because spirit link totem just made it 10 times easier to heal. In Miss, a talent called cloak and dagger was introduced, that allowed rogues to use ambush from 40 yards away, and would teleport the rogue behind the target when used, basically giving rogues a free shadow step every time they used an opener. In Warlords of Draenor, ambush saw probably its biggest change yet, you no longer have to be behind your target to use ambush. As someone who has played a rogue casually since Wrath of the Lich King, I'm still not quite used to this change. I still go behind targets to ambush even today. It just feels weird to ambush from the front. Because until Wad, only Cheap Shot could be used from the front. Ambush and Garot both had position requirements. In Legion, ambush was turned into an outlaw rogue only ability, and Garot was taken away. Now all three specs only have two openers to choose from instead of the original three. Cheap Shot and a damaging ability. Outlaw Rogues get Ambush, Assassination gets Garrote, and Sub gets Shadow Strike, which I guess is technically a fourth opener, but it's literally just Ambush with the old Cloak and Dagger talent baked into the ability baseline. 
In Cheap Shot's first form, it required stealth with no position requirement like Ambush did, stunned the target for 4 seconds and gave 2 combo points, with a chance at extra combo points with talents. Later on it would have its energy cost reduce baseline, making it cheaper to use than Ambush, but more than Garou, and some talents that would give debuffs when you use Cheap Shot. But surprisingly, the baseline ability, effect, and requirements for use have remained relatively unchanged throughout all of WoW's history. I don't think I've ever come across ability while making these history videos that is basically exactly the same today as it was in Beta WoW. I should probably make a list of abilities that are exactly the same today as they were in Beta WoW and never went through major changes. So far I can only think of Cheap Shot to add to that list. Most of the changes for Cheap Shot came in the form of game mechanic changes, or uses with other abilities, like how before diminishing returns were put into the game, you could Cheap Shot someone, then vanish after 4 seconds and use it again for 8 seconds of CC, then Kidney for an additional 6 seconds, combined with high damage from Eviscerate and the fact that PvP trinkets didn't remove all types of CC, Vanilla Rogues could literally kill you before you had a chance to fight back. Out of all the openers, Cheap Shot was probably the most used opener in PvP throughout Rogue's history. A 4 second stun was, and still is, just a really good way to start a fight with. Out of all the CCs in the game, stuns are arguably the best form of CC, since they stop the character from moving and using abilities, while not breaking from damage. It even gives two combo points to boot. In Miss, Rogues got a glyph that increased the stun duration of Cheap Shot by one second. I think this was also around the time they made all stun share DRs with each other, so Rogue could no longer Cheap Shot into a Kidney for a 10 second stun, since Cheap Shot and Kidney Shot were sharing diminishing returns for the first time. Or maybe the change went through in Cataclysm, that doesn't really matter. What does matter is that since this change of DRs, people were just ignoring Cheap Shot and using one of the other two openers in PvP. That way they could get a full 6 second kidney shot instead of a 3 second one after using cheap shot, while doing more damage. Blizzard eventually nerfed the glyph to only increase the stun by half a second, and I'm pretty sure that's how it stayed until all glyphs were removed in Legion. With the changes in Legion, with all 3 rogue specs only having 2 openers, all 3 specs can still use cheap shot in basically its original form, proving that after all these sweeping changes to all the classes and abilities, Cheap Shot managed to remain pretty much exactly the same as it always has, a baseline ability to all rogues. Now let's talk about Garrote. For those of you who don't know what a Garrote is, it's a way of killing someone from behind with a wire, basically strangling them to death. The way WoW rogues seem to do it is with a barbed wire, which causes the bleed, and would explain why it silences, since, you know, the target would have had their throat slit. Garrote might just be the most gruesome ability in the game, fantasy-wise, of course. So, how was the history like for such a gruesome ability? Not too great, I'm afraid. Out of all the openers, Garrote was like the red-headed stepchild of the three openers. People would use it sometimes, but not because they wanted to. In its first form, it was simply an 18-second dot that required you to be stealth and behind the target to use. It cost less energy than both Cheap Shot and Ambush, but only gave one combo point. But then again, so did Ambush. But when Ambush was changed to give two combo points baseline, Garrote still only gave one, and still does to this day. And that dot it did in its first form was pretty bad. Garrote was basically a joke ability when compared to the other two much more useful openers, one being a 4 second stun, and the other being one of Rogue's highest damaging abilities. The damage was buffed eventually though, like halfway through vanilla. While it may have been the worst option of the three rogue openers, it still did very much see play. You see, threat was a big deal in WoW all the way until Cataclysm, and starting off a fight with ambush in PvE situations was basically asking the boss to turn around and smack you in the face. And cheap shot wasn't all that useful in PvE situations. So the go-to opener in most dungeons and raids was Garrote. Not because rogues necessarily wanted to use it though, it was mainly because it didn't cause a huge spike in threat like the much more preferred opener, Ambush, did. In the Burning Crusade, Garrote was given a 3 second silence in addition to its dot effect, instantly turning Garrote from a joke ability into a good one. 
With its silence effect, and its terribly low damage fixed, it became a legitimate option to use over the other two openers, instead of a begrudgent opener to use when you couldn't use the other two. In PvP, it became the best opener to use against mages, since they could simply blink out of cheap shot, and was a nice alternative opener to use when you wanted to burst down a high armor target, like a bear druid or a plate wearing class, since the bleed wasn't affected by armor like ambush was, and you'd do more damage to them with the dot. When cheap shot was changed to share DRs with kidney shot, Garot was basically the go-to opener against any class that a silence would be effective on. Just as a little side note, Garot is one of the few rogue abilities that doesn't require a weapon to use, so it can be used while disarmed. Also for the longest time, Garot just straight up didn't work on skeleton undead mobs, as kind of a fantasy element to the game where skeletons can't bleed, so it shouldn't work on them. There are plenty of other things that Garot does work on that don't bleed as well in lore, but Blizzard just decided to make skeleton undeads immune to Garot for some reason. In Cataclysm, Garot had a glyph that increased its silence by 2 seconds, giving it a 5 second silence as an opener. It was quickly nerfed to only a 1.5 second increase, as a 4.5 second silence was less overpowered than a 5 second silence for some reason. And the glyph was changed to only increase the silence by 1 second in Miss, until it was removed in Legion. Also in Miss, like Ambush, Garot was changed and no longer have a positional requirement, and could be used from the front. In Warlords, its dot was changed slightly to tick every 2 seconds instead of every 3 seconds. Very, very few dots tick every 2 seconds instead of every 3. Not sure why they changed it to work like this though. I guess because it does its damage a little quicker now, allowing it to do more damage burstier to fit in line with its opener nature or something like that maybe. In Legion, Garrote was changed to only be usable by assassination rogues and was given a 15 second cooldown. Can now be used outside of stealth and will only apply the 3 second silence if used from stealth. So now it works kind of like the kitty druid openers. It can be used outside of stealth but has an extra effect if used from stealth as an opener. There are obviously a whole bunch of other damage modifiers and talents that made these abilities give extra combo points under certain conditions, and some talents that apply debuffs and slows from the openers, but I pretty much just skipped all those unless they were unique or super important. Because there were like seriously a ton of changes to those talents that affected these three abilities. And it's not all that interesting to talk about how Ambush would do 10% extra damage from stealth in one expansion, to only like 6% extra damage in another. And with that being said, that's it for the history of the three rogue openers. If you have an idea for another History of WoW video, just let me know and I might make it if it's interesting. It might help me if you would include why you think I should make a video about the thing you mention, instead of just naming abilities and stuff randomly.